What's up guys, welcome back to SPL Society. So today we're gonna work on getting this thing louder. First thing I gotta do is test at 1,000 watts, 2,000 watts, and 4,000 watts. The reason I'm doing that is so when I make the modifications, I can retest at those power levels and see how much we gained or if we didn't gain. So let's go ahead and get the term lab set up and then we'll start testing. All right, I got everything hooked up to the term lab. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a sweep and figure out where it likes to peak at, what frequency it likes to peak at. I'll do a thousand watts at that frequency, 2000 watts and 4000 watts. And that'll just give me a uh, reference for when I make modifications to the box. So I'm gonna put you guys looking at the laptop and uh, we'll go ahead and get these tests done. So here's the deal guys, essentially in my box I have a rear chamber and a front chamber. It's a sixth order bandpass so the rear chamber is ported into the front chamber and then the front chamber is ported at the B pillar. The rear chamber is too big in my opinion so what I'm going to do this is what you're looking at this is the front chamber and the port exits right here this is the rear chamber you've got the woofers mounted to the baffle the rear chamber has three six inch ports and right now the back wall has a couple 45s in it just to help with airflow what I want to do What I want to do is add a false wall right in front of the woofers and what that's going to do is it's going to act like a waveguide so that the pressure bouncing or the pressure created from the woofers kind of bounce bounces towards the port but it also takes up more space in the rear chamber so that this chamber is smaller. First thing I gotta do is take the woofers out, take some measurements, and figure out how big I wanna make that false wall. Let's get to work. I actually lost the audio to this clip, so I'm just doing a voiceover here. Um, just showing you guys that I've actually done this once before, so you can kind of see the marks on the uh, sides here and the top where I added a false wall to shrink the rear of this box. Um, the first time I did it, it was really fast and um, it wasn't very strong. It actually started leaking um, into the back of that false wall. So I tore it all out and I'm going to redo it. So um, definitely going to make it a lot stronger this time. Just have to take some measurements and start cutting some pieces. And uh, that's what we'll go to next. <laughs> Alright guys, finally got all my pieces cut. As you can see, I've got the bottom pieces screws here, here, and up through here. Um, there's a second layer, so it's going to be two pieces thick on the bottom. We got same thing on top, two pieces thick. So I've got a third piece that's going to go in the middle. So you'll have top, middle, bottom. Uh, each one's going to be two layers thick. And then what I'll do 
is I will cover it in quarter inch MDF um, to fill all the gaps and strengthen it some more. So, so that's all I got today. I need to go to Home Depot and get some PL3X for this. Also, I need to get some screws so I can get it finished up. It's getting late in the day, so I'm gonna pick up and go to Home Depot and I will see you guys tomorrow. The next day. Yesterday I picked up some materials. Today we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, false wall finished in the back. Now all we have to do is just start putting the pieces in. So let's get after it. Got the top layer in. So let's move on to the next one. Got the second piece in, both layers. So now we just got one more. Just got one more to go. Finally got the last piece in. Got a little filler piece in between them. So now I'm going to take this quarter inch MDF. I'm going to cut it down and I'm going to have uh, vertical pieces because the woofer hole is only 11 and 7 eighths wide. So I can't do one piece because you can't, you have to go through the baffle. So these pieces are going to go vertical on top of the pieces I just added. What this will allow me to do is have one smooth surface and I can go across all the edges and seal the edges so that I don't have any air leaks into the back. So let's get to cutting. All right guys, so I got the quarter inch over the top. Um, not the prettiest thing on earth, but should work. Now all I have to do is uh, take pick up my mess and uh, put these woofers back in. So that's gonna be fun. Let's get after it. Finally, got all the woofers back in. Got all my wires hooked up. Got the ports back in. Uh, I think I'm gonna get that done and call it a night. Um, I may test some time this week. If I don't have time to test, there's a show coming up this Saturday. So you guys stay tuned and we'll see if she gains or if she loses. That's all I got for this video. I'll see you guys soon.